Would you like to know a little bit about this thing? Well, this will be starting at the long end because I've only really arrived at this now. I have done one like this before, but um, look, this is something rather different. The one I did first of all on the Horseman of the Apocalypse. Um, that more or less did itself, it worked itself out, this hasn't. This will be a bus or a Baghdad, but it doesn't really matter. Where. It's really too soon for anyone to look at this. But you might like to know what's going on. It's in very early stages. Yes, there is awful American attacks on the Iraqis. Yeah, I have served both in Basra and in, uh, not in Baghdad, but in a bit to the left. And uh, while we were there, we went to Babylon, saw some enameled interior corridors made up of. Perhaps that's what gave me the idea. Made up these, um, you've probably seen photographs of them. And, history of Persian art and that sort of thing. What I'm aiming at in this is for a series of what appear to be bits of broken coloured tiles. That's what I, I'm aiming at, but it's not going to be the, this colour at all. At the moment I'm just trying to balance off the shapes and colour. I think it started off with it. That's not really anything to do with me doodling about. And the final colours are going to be in the well, olive green ultramarine area and the uh, parts of the figure will be raw sienna and uh, raw amber, perhaps. And the Orange and scarlet will be taking up positions in the architecture to show the flame burning as the rescue is going on. This is the, the subject matter is a rescue of damaged people by uh, two aid workers or whatever you like to call them. And one is normally in one's works on an old novel or a rectangular surface. If you've got this kind of shape to fill, you're really doing a kind of geometry. And I'm rather keen on the hexagon, as you might see if you look at this, don't want to get too far away from the stove. Not exactly, no. no. Uh, the colour scheme might be based on the, the, the things in the corridors and in what Babylon used to be or was like in 1930. Uh, that probably the only interest me in the colour which I was trying to do. Uh, yes. There's a sort of olive greenish idea against the flame background. And um, with this idea starting off from a hexagon, which is one of my favourites, because such a lot of things you can do with a hexagon. Mm -hmm. Looking at this nun's face here, and she's, she's obviously at the moment she's looking down towards the other rescuer. Now look at this person here, if you can see it, if you can make it out. Yeah. Uh, we've got three hexagons, but the, she is either looking down at the baby in her arm, or she's looking upwards, cursing the exit. <laughs> if that becomes the face. But I'm really, I'm undecided about which of those planes is going to be a face. However, 
Um, then this is another rescue figure. Was originally this was that way. You can see that's a figure, you know? Yes. Now you say so. <laughs> Well, that, that's the thing I've got to work with. I've got to keep the, the, this impression, um, get the idea over, but not alter the shapes too much. Anyhow, that's, um, that's supposed to be one of these, none of these big Flemish uh, beguines, they call them, I think. At any rate, um, that's what that is going to turn into. This is another rescuer standing here. This is a, some a refugee. This is another here. And at the moment I've got a puzzle to sort out there because I don't like what I do. I've painted it out. And this has turned into a stretcher with a figure on it. I see there, dangling legs. And she is pulling the cloth over it. Getting somewhere near the composition that I want to miss the, hmm. which is uh, starts off and started off with the hexagons and gradually subdividing the hexagons into uh, component shapes. But they can be seen. You see, this one in particular can be seen both ways. She was originally looking at this one, but then she turned this way when I was doing it. On the main direction Well, not really. No, it's nothing to do with cubism as such. It's reminiscent because there are cubes <laughs> in drawings. I don't know how much I'm going to really probably put no features in at all. Simply divisions of the, the head. But uh, that's really got to come in. At the moment I'm in trouble here because this is a, a rescue child. And this person Somewhere this is going to stop. I eventually turn up to have stripes on it. This may or may not become an ordinary Arab cloak or other. It's going to cause trouble around here. So. However, um, I don't think I've explained it very well. Have I? Well, having found out that I wasn't getting any very far with that, uh, I was looking for trying to remember um, some other direction to go, to break completely with ordinary imitation constables and turners and things like everybody else does when they go on sketching tours. Um, let's do something really which would be uh, fairly original and at the same time um, interesting to look at. Mm. Well, not, uh, something that if anybody really was interested in it would not only be a decorative, decorative piece but it would also be if you looked at it and worked your brain a bit. You see there was a bit of action going on as well. Uh, I could talk about this thing for hours because <laughs> I won't. I don't know, it might just be Basra, it might be uh, something about the Americans, but I'm not too sure, I dare say that.